It's Brittany Griner and Aliyah Boston in the center jump circle, and we are underway from Indianapolis. The Mercury come into this one winners of three in a row. They're looking for their first four-game winning streak. She knows how to use her body and get to her spots and being able to affect that defense. Clark is coming off the masterful night and starts us off strong here from Indianapolis with a three ball. And we're going to expect a big night here for Cunningham. She does a good job stepping in when she needs to. Clark, she's putting on a show here in the early going. She's not afraid. Mitchell off the screen, catch and shoot, backs it down. And we've seen this from Kelsey Mitchell time and time again. Runner on Boston. It should be a fun matchup here tonight. A couple of all-stars and the Olympian gets that one to go. Brittany Griner. Boston will take it right at her. Gets inside and blocked by Griner. Huge challenge. She takes a lot. Mitchell pulls down the rebound, putting all the moves underneath. The Griner stick right with her. Mitchell launches. Just a couple threes on that possession. But Smith with the rebound and the stick back. Jalon Copper, a couple of all-stars. Mitchell turns the corner, gets inside, and makes it home. Talk about patience there. Was never sped up. This is where Caitlin Clark wants to play faster. Oh, she finds a cutting Boston. And the vision from Clark. She's got five assists in just over five minutes. For the reasoning behind her assists, which have been in the double-digit range here for four straight. Clark bouncing. There's Mitchell. Give her six assists in less than seven minutes. Scrambled right now, doing a good job, but being able to pressure and stop everyone, they have to be able to find an answer. Allen with the left hand, it scoops it in. Nice shot there for Rebecca Allen. Also played with Christy Wallace on Team Australia, but this Indiana offense is playing with some serious pace, and Clark has seven assists in the first quarter. Taylor was signed to a seven-day contract here earlier today, so not out of the question. Former Fever Guard could see some time with this shorthanded group. Oh, Mitchell, that's a deep three, and Indiana's knocked down three of them here in the first. Um, unfortunately, there's those slumps. But being able to battle back, really control it on the defensive end, uh, and be there with that energy is really going to help them. Griner ducks in and banks it home. Smith steps into a three, and she knocks it down. It's that balance for Indiana between wanting to play fast but not out of control as Natasha Mack finishes on the other end. Yeah, I had an old coach back in high school call it organized chaos, meaning being able to play fast but under control. And here's Clark who lays it in on the other end. Look how quickly Clark trying to play here, even off of made buckets. But Mack there with a good defensive play comes up with a block. Just really difficult stretch of schedule to start the season. Caitlin Clark playing as well as just about any guard in this league here over the last few weeks. Copper pulls up and knocks it down. That almost impossible to do again. She averages 23 a game. League's second leading score. Indiana has made it a point to try to establish Boston here as Boston gets inside and lays it in. That one came up off, but being able to go knowing that that you did exactly what you can, you get another steal here by the FIBA. Their defense is great. This time it's Boston who feeds to Melissa Smith. And with under three minutes to go in the third. Phoenix struggling to take care of it as Cunningham drops hole and knocks down a three. Big shot there by Sophie Cunningham. And then off of the make, look at Clark just running the floor, gets right to the rim. Coast to coast. 35 feet, and you have to defend it. You have to respect that. That's absolutely good. <laughs> that is a that. shot that she is well capable of making. Copper wide open in the corner and splashes home a three. Three! And we'll set back for Boston, and Boston from the mid range knocks it down. Going back door. This time it's Boston with the feed and an end one. The team shot it well from out there here tonight. Both under 30% for three. Mark bouncing. Boston charging to the rim and finishing. Now a 17 point deficit. Shot clock is off. The Fever can play for the final possession. Nobody picks up Clark, so she takes it in and lays it in. It's an end 
one for Caitlin Clark, who's putting together a first half masterpiece. That is the one area that you could circle as a negative in the first half of the Fever. They had 10 first half turnovers, and her Makia Herbert Harrigan knocks down a three for Phoenix. Pulls it down, somehow tiptoes the baseline. Oh, Boston with a shot, then she'll take it right in for that one. Beautiful basketball. But her ability to have great footwork is so fun to watch. Well, still loose on the floor. Mitchell's been really active defensively tonight. And Clark launches for Mitchell. She gets rewarded. The record is Courtney Vandersloot with six. She will go for that record on Sunday as the Fever are in Minnesota. And here's Alyssa Smith doing a little work. Everyone for Indiana getting in on the action here. They're all in double figures here, less than three minutes into the third quarter. And there goes Boston with a denial. Just the determination, the passion, uh, the willingness to win and get out there and make a play. Cunningham knocks down a step back three. That's a pretty looking shot there from Sophie Cunningham. There's a lot of star power and experience on this Mercury roster. This has not been their night, but the Phoenix have a Mercury have a really good opportunity once the playoff comes around. Indiana's got it done inside the arc. Here is Clark with some space. Clark behind the back. Oh, showing off the moves. It's Boston, and it's too easy. It's just the way that they play. They are not doing anything bad right now. Everything is working. They have to continue with this same intensity. Austin Mitchell right up the guts. Mitchell calls the foul. Schubert matched their largest lead at 26. Mitchell, corner three. There's Boston underneath. Picking up the loose change. You don't want, you don't want to force it. Boston back for Clark. Rims out, Boston the rebound. She's been dominant on the glass. Let me tell you something. Six offensive rebounds. And look, there is no question that the paint is a completely different story as Clark just went right by her former teammate and laid it in. She's got gaudy stat lines for Indiana at the end of the night. Smith just two rebounds away from her own double double. What a big shot, a bank in three from Herbert. They come back and not only sign, but play the exact same day. Yeah, play 15 minutes on the day as Smith comes up with the block. But she's been really active on the defensive end. I haven't figured it out, and I've been playing the game all my life, so that is a special skill to have, and Alyssa Smith definitely has it. Another thing that the zone has an opportunity to do is slow down that fever offense. The way through the year after this, it's amazing how quickly the game's going on Olympic year. Boston underneath, pretty fine, better denial. Herbert Harrigan. Indiana shooting 19% from three. They are 72% inside the arc. Cunningham launches and delivers on a triple. It's almost like they are stepping up to this challenge. They understand it is hard to be up and keep the lead. What a big basket there. Diana Tarasi and Charisma Osborne, they added Griner to the injury report in the second quarter. She's not come back. And Copper is leading the charge back. She's got Phoenix within 12. That's not an easy bucket there by Erica Wheeler. Puts Indiana back up 14. Here's Copper on the attack. Extra pass. Cunningham wide open. And she knocks down a triple. Phoenix using their reset timeout to advance the ball. They still have one timeout. Copper driving on hole. Good defense there, Lexi Hall. Oh, Copper hit an impossible shot and draws a foul. Well, what a valiant response from the Phoenix Mercury. They go from down 31 to within a couple of possessions.